We are looking at the Pepperball Lifelight Mobile, a flashlight that doubles as a non-lethal self-defense tool. And right off the bat, before we even get into this, I've tried a couple other products from Pepperball and everything I've seen so far has been just tremendous quality, really well made. So I'm excited to try this. So right here on the front, it actually gives you some of the specs uh, right off the bat. So it says we have a 40 foot launch distance, which is pretty impressive, 12 foot pepper irritant cloud, a forceful impact and a 350 lumen bright LED flashlight. So let's get into this thing. So when you pull it out of the sleeve, you have the box inside. I'll try to unbox this on camera for you guys. And got our instruction manual there. And you can kind of see how everything's laid out. Like I said, all their products have been packaged really well and really well made. A lot of attention to detail, uh, which I appreciate. So. This is the Lifelight Mobile itself. Actually, not as big as I thought it would be. For being a Pepperball launcher, uh, it's pretty small. You could definitely fit this in a glove box or a console or anything like that. So I'm excited to try this thing. Actually, when I first looked at their website, this was the one that stuck out to me the most because I just think it's a genius idea. There's a million applications you could get out of a flashlight that doubles as a self-defense tool. So I'm not gonna read the instructions. I'm gonna see if we can tackle this without going into the book and work this thing. So right here, uh, you can see it takes three AAA batteries. I assume, yep, they are already in there. And then we have our light button right there on the side. And I assume that this is our pepper ball launcher. Now there's also a laser, you can see on the front here where the two flashlight beams are. This is the laser beam. And then I assume that's where you put the CO2 and that is where you load the pepper balls. Okay, yeah, so when you put it on fire, when you take the, the flashlight off of safe and onto fire is when the laser shows up. So you guys probably won't be able to see it on the camera, but I do have it on my steel torso plate down there. Definitely a bright laser. And obviously wherever your laser is pointing is where the pepper balls will go. So you don't have to aim this thing. All right, let's load it up. So first I'm gonna unscrew our CO2 plug here and drop the cartridge in like that. I'm trying to do all this on camera for you guys. So I'm gonna twist and pull this little plug out right here. And that is where our pepper balls go. So in the package, they actually include a few different tubes. They have um, a couple tubes of practice rounds and then a tube of live, like real pepper ball rounds. We probably won't shoot the real ones today because I've shot those before and uh, they're definitely strong, but I will load up some of these practice rounds. Put the plug back in and I think we're ready to go. <laughs> All right, let's shoot it. So I got the laser on my steel torso plate there. <laughs> <laughs> okay wow that is super accurate right where i'm holding that laser <laughs> that is amazing that is so cool obviously i can't tell how bright the flashlight is i did turn it on and kind of shined it on my book bag and it looks super bright but it's broad daylight maybe i'll run a clip over the video here using the flashlight at night so you guys can see how bright it is but i mean you can tell it's definitely a really bright flashlight but man that was super cool. <laughs> Let's shoot it again. Oh yeah. Man, <laughs> I would not want to get shot with that. Those are smoking out of there. Whew. By the way, the flashlight does have several different modes. If you hit it once, it's just a constant beam. If you hit it again, you get a strobe effect. And then if you hit it again, you get a faster strobe effect. So it does have different modes on the flashlight as well, but I don't think we're here for the flashlight. <laughs> All right, let's shoot this thing again. I got a couple barrels down there and they're a little bit louder than the steel target. So let's take a couple shots on them. <laughs> it's accurate too. We're probably eight to 10 yards away from those targets. So 25, 30 feet, something like that. And we're smoking them every time. So I've shot several of their high dollar launchers. And I got to say for civilians, the life light is definitely the most useful. It's just such a good idea and it's more affordable too. So price isn't bad at all on this for what you get. All right, let's hit that paper plate. That's a headshot at 10 yards away. So see if we can hit it. <laughs> Smoked it. Oh yeah. 
I hope it's translating on camera how hard those impacts are. Forget the pepper, just getting hit by one of these would hurt pretty bad. All right, guys, well, I want to keep this kind of short, so I hope you enjoyed my video review on the Pepperball Life Light Mobile. It definitely gets five stars from me. If you can't tell, I'm a huge fan of this thing. So, obviously, the applications and uses for something like this, um, just use your imagination. You know, whether you live in an area with restrictions or you just prefer something like a non lethal weapon over a lethal weapon, obviously, there's a ton of situations where you can't just pull firearms on people and something like this would be a tremendous choice. This is probably at the top of my list for less lethal or non-lethal self-defense tools. Plus, like I said, you can just fit it in a glove box or a center console and just always have this thing with you. So, hope you enjoyed the review. Thanks for watching. Definitely gets two thumbs up from me.